Hello, Maria here with The Fourth Dimension. Thank you for joining me today. I'm giving away five free reads. Yes, I'm gonna pull names the week of June 10th and put them on the community tab. If you're interested, one, you have to be a subscriber. Two, it has to be a real username because I can't tag user LMNOP 1,000,007 asterisk exclamation point question mark to a, an actual person. So please, 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 Leave a comment if you're interested and be a subscriber, have to be a subscriber to the channel, of course, to get the free reading. Um, it's a gratitude giveaway. So I'm super grateful for all the work that um, you've allowed me to do and that you showed interest in hearing about. And I super appreciate that. So as um, gratitude, I'm going to give away five free readings in the next month. They are 30 minute readings if interested. It's a full reading. And uh, if you're interested, put your name in the comment and say free reading, please whatever, and you get the gist. Um, if you don't want to take the risk and just want a full reading done <laughs> with me, uh, I offer two different styles. One in person where I send you a video, um, or like a live chat where we can interact and you can ask questions and be a part of this reading. And the second is through uh, taping and um, you just pay for it and I send it to you blindly. And so far I've gotten pretty good reviews. So I feel pretty good about it. So that's also an option. It's kind of kind of dicey because it can be vague, but people have given me very good feedback. So thank you for that too. And you know who you are. All y'all. Thank you. Lastly, this is for, I'm going to give this one to Aquarius. Aquarius, I got this on my heart today. Um, I just finished a reading for you, believe it or not. And it seemed very kind of generic-y. And I don't like that. I like more detailed. It was very clear, the message. So I'm going to see, I, I this is really about me. Now I'm going to be self-centered here. This is really about me. I just wanted to see if my reading was accurate. Um, cause this one that I just did was very generic and it was super quick. I mean, it was a longer video, but it was super quick cause the message was very, very clear. And I just want to make sure this is right. So I'm reading for Aquarius for next week. Tell me spirit, what's going on with Aquarius? Give me, give me some Intel about Aquarius. Aquarius. Thank you. Give me more. Give me more, please. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll let you know if this is close or not. Mm. Okay. Just hang in there for me, please. I have this mat and it grabs every single card and it makes it really challenging to get off. So thank God I'm the only one that uses these cards because my DNA is all over this. Trying to pick them up. Okay. Going to need a few more, please, for Aquarius. Thank you for your patience because I usually only like the ones that fly out. Sometimes I'm being called to like pull them if they don't fly out, but I want to make sure that's here. Okay. That I'm getting the messages timely and accurately to you as they come out. This is on the side. This is on the side. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Aquarius. Mm. You have a lot of options right now. I feel like you're getting over somebody. Um, you're struggling with the getting over them. They might not have been in your energy for a while, Aquarius. You are coming off as a queen of swords. Queen of swords in the upright is defensive, but you know, appropriately so. Not not at all mean, just guarded, right? And so this guarded feeling I feel like you have is based on a history of being placed in third in third parties. I don't know how to say it. You, and I don't know if you even, like several you've known, you, you from, like walked into this willing, willing and um, wanting to... Uh, keep it as a situationship or maybe keep it as friends with benefits or not committed just because I don't think you knew what you wanted, right? I feel like this last choice was a bad decision. And the reason why I say that is you recognize this option had many other options and you're re like you're, you're refusing to reinvest in this situation again. You're like, no way in hell. You're now feeling like a champion coming out of this, kind of recovering 
you are up in your head. You have some anxiety. So I'm going to clarify that a little bit about what that's about because it is in your past. And then I have this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, right? So it's the same old, same old, more of the same, more of the same. So you're concerned, I think. Um, I don't know. I kind of get also that somebody wants to come back and try again. Like they felt this was a failure and they want to turn a, turn the wheel back. Or you felt this relationship was a failure and you might want this relationship back for a handful of you. So whatever was back here, you feel... It didn't go well. It didn't because I have this as your primary overall energy is a Queen of Swords and the run right behind it is a King of Pentacles. So it could be with this King of Pentacles. Um, and it was somebody that you considered a lover. And uh, yep, third party energy all over it. Somebody didn't get picked. The pick me card and it's out in the upright with the, with the moon. Lots of lots and lots and lots and lots of secrets. And of course, I have uh, the Queen of Wands, my third party uh, VP of marketing and business player card and the queen of cups. So maybe multiple parties with the seven of swords being a lot of bullshit, <laughs> lots of deception, Aquarius. And you put an end to it. You walked away from this and now you're sitting in a hangman state. I think that's pretty much the vibe you're coming off as, as the queen of swords in the upright. And I also have you as a queen of cups, the most nurturing of all the options, the loving, the giving, the generous, the kind, the kindergarten teacher, right? That's the vibe I get. And and I don't mean to be weird about the kindergarten teacher. I just feel like nothing, nobody could be mad at, the, that, at that person because they are so loving and kind and generous and giving and cut the, you know, cut the crust off your sandwich kind of teacher, you know, and knew everybody's name and their birth date. Shit, I can't even get my kids' names and dates down sometime. Like tall kid, what's your name? So especially when I'm mad at him. So when I, when I get this vibe, you are, you manage people really, really well. You manage relationships really, really well. You, um, being an air sign, you're very strategic and, but you're personable, right? And you're intentional with your energy, very intentional. You don't just hand it out willy nilly like you do at the dollar store, um, 20 to a pack, which is what I feel like you're kind of offended by is the person that you poured energy into did that you know, they spread their energy really thin across the masses and you're not happy about it. Right in the center of your spread, I have the emperor coming in trying to make correct um, the seven of the seven of uh, wands in reverse. Is, it feels like threats and maybe you're fighting with this emperor. Maybe it's um, opposition. It's just opposition. It's, it's like sandpaper on sandpaper. It's just feeling uncomfortable and rough and... Um, for a Aquarius to sit in that energy, you can outthink, outlast, outplay pretty much any zodiac sign out there. You're very CEO, entrepreneurial, take the reins and run kind of energy. And this person wants to do some gameplay and you're like, bring your best fucking day with you. You know, like that's the energy I get is you just are like, you may not even cuss, but it's like sincerely, um, the Queen of Swords is showing up defensive and ready to play. She's ready to go and she will cut you off. So this is the only thing I'm concerned about is this Empress came in on the side. So the upright Empress is cool, calm, collected, running the show, CEO, four different kingdoms, 10 different plates. This is you on a good day in business with your family, with your friends, with, with past lovers that you feel cheated, lied, were deceitful because that seven of swords came out with multiple other players. You're on your side. This is on the backside. The reverse empress is kind of, mm, not on a, <laughs> she can, she can be, uh, the most vicious, cunning, cutting, cutting person in the reverse, right? She, she is not playing. She's also, um, you know, how do I say this? Sometimes I feel when you're in the upright, you're uh, confident and you're, you're, you have your game and your strategy ready to go. On the side is you're not quite confident in the situation. You're back and forth, in and out. You're, I wouldn't say that one of the definitions of that, of that reverse one is lazy. I would more say apathetic in this conversation about res resolution or even restoring a relationship, even a friendship with this person. Um, not lazy, but indecisive, uh, more of a, I don't want to spend any energy on this. That's what lazy means. I don't want to extend, I don't, it's a native 
Pentacles is this. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You feel like you didn't get shit out of this relationship. This is all the Pentacles that people have poured into a relationship and they take a pause and they look at it and they see their Pentacles rise and they're like, ah, look at all of my achievements. I'm so proud of everything I've done. In the reverses, I got nothing. I got zip. I got cut. I don't have anything to show for all this time and energy. What a waste. That's this feeling. So that's kind of the residual current energy you're feeling. You're maybe not as energetically pissed off as you were back here, but you sure are not completely recovered in your full sense of confidence either. So that's the vibe I get. You're still harboring a resentment. That's the best way to put it. Um, if not a full bore resentment, definitely apathy towards the situation, kind of like I've let it go. I'm almost healed. I'm, I'm accepting the situation as what it was. However, I'm not, um, I'm not sure if I could even be a friend with this person. Like not even, like I've forgiven him kind of, you know, <laughs> I've forgiven this person ish, you know, like sort of, I don't forgive the behavior. I'm trying to accept the human. I understand Maria, love and light, blah, 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 you know, double finger to the sky kind of thing. But that's kind of the vibe I get is like, I'm not ever going to be putting in myself in a situation like this with this emperor. And it's seriously off this chart, off my table. And you know when I said I did this first read and it was kind of like cut and dry? Very similar, not as intense. So I'm grateful I did this second one because I was like, that was too easy. What happened? You know, so this, I'm super happy I did this. So this is intense energy. So for the few of you that are coming off of an, uh, a cycle, and this cycle might be years old. You might have had other relationships. This is the one that you think about most often, even between the other ones and their other ones. And it might be years, like I said, it might be years, but this is the one that's like the, the, mm, the pebble in your shoe that just, is, just irritates you. This is the one. So let's talk about that. I'm gonna come back to this here in a second, this wheel, remind me to do that. Cause I think this might be in, this might, this reverse wheel actually might be influencing your future abundance. Hold please. Okay, as we go forward, I have the nine of wands in the upright. You know, the nine of wands is when I see the boxer in the ring and they've gone nine rounds and they can't see out of an eye. The jaw's broke, the fingers are broke. They got three cracked ribs puncturing along and they're telling their coach, I got one more round coach, one more round. And he's like, dude, you can't see a damn thing. Get out of the, <laughs> get out of the ring, call it. I'm gonna throw the flag in. And you're like, no, I got one more round. So you might be considering, forgive me for the handful of you that this is accurate for, but you might be thinking you have more one more round with this person, but you can't make a decision because you don't know have all the answers. So this person, this emperor, might be coming back saying, hey, I've changed, I'm not that person, I've learned my lesson, I've elevated. That might be the situation you're in. And it's um, fast moving. You can tell if this is your reading and this is your story, your portion of the story, Again, take this only if it resonates with you because they're gonna be rushing in, like texting you, calling you. If you are put in this third party, this might be a warning. This is what I'm saying about this, okay? So take a pause for the handful this resonates with. I can't believe I'm gonna say this out loud. Whew. This is your spirit tribe warning you. This person, this emperor, I don't believe has elevated. Sorry, Aquarius, I know that you love this person tremendously and you were hurt even worse. You wanted the best. You held on to an outcome that didn't come to fruition. You found this person not to be completely straightforward and honest with you in their dealings and their actions and their words and their behavior. Spirit is saying the person that your person wanted dumped them, rejected them. Mm -hmm. As a result, the harmful truth is, Aquarius, is you are their karma. Let's talk about that. Your ex's ex now, uh, when they were in this third party, you were the you were the third party. This is a long standing, long standing relationship between the two of them, and they, him, her, whomever, uh, talked about you a lot, a lot. You are the topic of many a conversation, usually in fights. And there was a lot of competition and comparison of you. You weren't even aware of it. You've long gone. You've moved on. You were the one that got away. Okay? Just put that in perspective. So when they broke up, you are the salt in their ex's eye. Uh-huh. And you on the arm of your ex is a best get back to their ex. Are you following me? That's the vibe. 
If you do that, Spirit's like, you're going to turn your blessings backward. This is a test. I swear to God, this is a test. Well, I won't swear to God, but you know what I'm saying. <sighs> Can't make it up. This is why. This is how the cards came out. I have an ace in the reverse, not moving forward with a, a brand new opportunity, fresh new opportunity to create a new relationship with this human again. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're sitting on the fence. They came back maybe in the last week. Want you back. They want you back. You're like, I don't know, Maria. Something says I should. My heart's like, yes. And it's a head over heart decision, not a heart over head. This is you using your Aquarius brain and saying, you know what? The facts show I don't see a whole lot of change. And I, you're rushing in, as Maria said, Maria said so with this passionate, you're rushing in is my indicator to know this isn't the truth. This is the test, actually. The King of Cups on the side. So in the upright, forward, you know, actual on his game, wants to have a relationship, runs the PTA, you know, on the side, in the, in the reverses, uh, gushing emotion, right? So this person might come in love bombing you, might come in telling you how much they miss you with this immediate conversation that you had totally took you off to the left. This is why, is they would do anything to get you back. So you will take this person back so they can post it and show their ex that I'm back with the person you can't stand. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm so glad I took it. Cause I thought this last pause, it was very light. It was extremely, it was the same story, but not this detailed or this in depth. So I'm really grateful. I did some meditation and cleared my energy before I did this reading. And I asked, I'm like, show me the specifics. Here comes that page of swords. I'm wanting to have this truthful, honest conversation. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. <laughs> the world, you put an end to it. You're just like, no, no boy, no, no, thank you. You put an end to this. This, you are this person's karma. Your no actually starts at their elevation. Yeah. You already did this once. I feel the one you left them the first time. It is their tower. I can't make this up. Y'all saw me. I just shuffled. You got the, uh, excuse me, the king of wands in the reverse. Mm-hmm. I'm just making sure I got the severity. Cruel. Yeah. Crafty. Opinionated. Stubborn. Um, did it sound familiar? Is that your dude? Is that your energy? Is that your person that you're dealing with? There's that tower. So you might see this person when you say no, the real side of them becoming petty, bitter, bitey, backbiting, um, you know, like negatively commenting on things and being, you know, because their plans failed. They wanted to get you back to get back at their ex. I cannot believe this is coming out so clear for me. This is just Aquarius. I don't know who you're dealing with, but they been on the passive aggressive side and you just blew up their plans. You blew up. I think in their mind, they thought they'd just come over, say, I'm sorry, bring you some flowers. Just pick right back up where you left off. Yep, I have the sun. I have the three of wands. And I have justice. So this is what you're doing. You're moving forward with the decision not to move forward. And you are super, super happy. If y'all heard that, I don't know if you heard that. You can rewind it, but it sounded like, sound like something dropped, like a mic. And nothing happens in my readings by mistake. So I feel like that's the tower. Is there to be like, wait a minute, what? Wait, you wouldn't want to get back with me? Why? I'm awesome. What's wrong with you? I'm the best thing. I am your best option. And you're like, mm -mm. no, thank you. I'm going to pass on this lovely opportunity today. I heard next. <laughs> I heard next. Aquarius, I love your spirit tribe because they're huge. They're comical. They're very witty. They're very, very witty. Alan Alda. I know I'm old, but I'll tell you. He was an old actor in MASH. He was freaking hilarious. He was dry. But that's a that's that level, I feel. Anything else? Okay, I'm going to pull from another deck. Bottom, Ace of Wands right there. You can have a passion in a new beginning if you want because it is coming in with this offer, this lovely offer of a new relationship. Judgment. Judgment is totally in play here. They're going to offer you the world, the sky. They're going to offer you more and more opportunities than they did before. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of fighting and arguing on the back end if you say yes. The Spirit just is telling me if you say yes and you do end up on the arm of this person again, which is your choice, and you can, you can say, this is my wish fulfillment, Maria. I've been manifesting this for years. That's fair. Just know on the back end, this is going to be a long-standing relationship for a while. And I think regardless of the get back, it's going to work. They're going to, their ex is going to sit in remorse, shame, anger, 
And uh, mm, I do have the Four of Pentacles. So several of these uh, individuals may go back to their old ways and um, hold back the energy that they promised they were going to give you is a six and now it's a four. Um, and they eight is they want to invest, but they only actually give you four. Uh, but this is your ten of, this is your ten of cups and that's your wish fulfillment. So let me give you an angel number. Very interesting lead. Wow. 25. I am intelligent. If this isn't your reading, I, I don't know if I'm not your most favorite reader out there. I don't know what to tell you. Number 25. So if you see a number two and number five, a combination of both, right? 25, 25, 0, 2, 5, 2, 5, 0, Just know this is your um, spirit tribe trying to get your attention to say and remind you you're intelligent. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Mm -hmm. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. So you are intelligent. Spirit is saying, use your best interest. And I think it goes back to the head over heart discussion we just had just a second ago. Um, and just know that, um, I swear this, I don't know if this could even be more clear this reading for me. And I just want to thank you. Just know that you're going to make the right decision either way. Your intuition is going to lead you and I say take five seconds before you allow this person to walk in or you walk into the restaurant or their house or wherever you're meeting to have this wonderful discussion. Um, spend five minutes and ask your tribe to show you the intentions of the person and to catch the, the non-verbals as well as the verbals. And I think you're going to be um, very surprised how your, how your team shows up. Um, if this is your message and you would like to know more, again, please subscribe. That helps me grow my channel and get my footprint off to every side of the planet. More and more people need this healing message. Uh, lastly, uh, after you've subscribed and hit that notification bell to alert you of upcoming content as I post it, um, please consider uh, entering your name in the drawing under the comments if you haven't yet. And if you have, my gratitude to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. And I appreciate you and your energy being here and consistently supporting me in this channel and what we're trying to do here. Aquarius, if this is where we part until Wednesday for your pulse, love and light until then. Take care. Bye.